Welcome back to Evangelism for God, channel that speaks about issues the church run away from and expose Satan and his devices. And today I've got a rant and it's not a political rant. So it's not going to be a political rant, but this is a rant that it has bothered me for almost 30 years. Ever since I've given my life to the Lord, I noticed this within the church realm and it bothers me because it's still going on within the church realm today. It's going on with preachers and pastors on the internet and I have a problem with it. And I want to see where you guys, have you ever experienced it or what's your thoughts on that? So definitely leave some comments below so that we can get into a discussion on that. But here's what I, I've noticed. And for one, before I get to that, there's various types of churches that you can go to based on your personality, what you like. If you want a, a preacher that's a storytelling type preacher, you can go to a church like that. If you want to go to a church where the preacher break it down scriptures and get more in depth with the historical meanings and, and a whole lot of more in depth study Hebrew, Greek, there's churches like that. If you want to go to a church that has a choir and, and, and more a certain type of music, there's church for that. If you want to have an energetic pastor and, and members that are fired up and running around, there's a church for that. But here's where I have a problem with. I have a problem with, and I've noticed this since I've been in the Christian realm, that these other types of churches, especially the ones, the main ones, the one that the running around, the ones where the saints are falling all out everywhere, the charismatic type churches, they will make it appear like you don't love the Lord because you're not jumping all around. You're not, you don't love the Lord because you're not running around the sanctuary and falling out and all of this stuff. And, and, and I got a problem with that. You know, do you hear these pastors don't sit there like a bump on a log? You know, you better get up and wave your hands and shout. You better turn to somebody and all of this stuff. And then you're like looking towards that person, the one that's not doing all of that as if they're a heathen, that they don't uh, love the Lord. And that's, that's, that's baloney. I do not like that because every one of us, our character, our personalities are made up. We're all different. I'm more so an introvert. I'm not, I know me. I've always been an introvert. You're not going to see me running around like that because it's not me. So don't try to tell me I don't love the Lord because I'm not running around and falling out and doing all of the things that you're doing. It doesn't matter. Have you ever seen, let's go one of my favorite pastors, Dr., uh, Charles Stanley, Pastor Stanley, his church. They're not, if you ever watched any of his services, they're not, it's more so he's teaching the word of God. They're not running around this and that. But there's plenty, I'm sure there's plenty within his congregation that has followed him throughout his ministry. They love the Lord. And it doesn't have to be this charismatic where people are that's doing, you know, falling around. Uh, they think that they're more holy. And that, and here's another thing. And this is another rant I have in a gripe with this. You have to be careful with this going around, hug somebody all the time and, and, and go do this, touch people all the time. You know why? Because I learned that more so to understand it more when I was in school, but knowing from coming from a, a family that I know members of abuse that had suffered abuse and um, I had a few abuse myself and touching is a very delicate subject. You don't know if that woman or child or person you're trying to touch that for them, the touch was their uncle coming into the bedroom at night, touching them. You don't know if that woman has been physically abused because that was the type of touch she had or that she was raped. You don't know that. And here we are, because I've seen it over the years of men over where they 
where I've talked with women over the years where that man during uh, what the hug was a little more than what they that what they were, you know, they figured it was more uh, than just a basic godly hug and things. And because, you know, there's a lot of little shady people out there. That's their opportunity, you know, to get up on you, grab you, hug you, grunt, push you towards you. I, I used to, when I, when I was younger like that, I had girls that were sometimes right in front of the sanctuary. They, you know, overly um, aggressive type hugs to where you know that it's not uh, something of God. And we, you know, you have to be careful. And I'm not, you know, I know we, we're all the, in, within the body of Christ and we're all connected and we all supposed to love one another. But some of these pastors and stuff, they don't be thinking. You got to think of this type of stuff. It's like, and the reason why I brought that touch thing up, because I learned this in my sexuality class, where it talked about if you marry, for example, the professor was talking about if you marry, let's say, a woman that has been physically, uh, sexually abused or possibly raped, but sexually abused, and be prepared. When you guys have intimate moments, you need to be understanding because she may, you may be in the moment of, you know, your lovemaking and she may shut down all of a sudden. You need to be uh, aware of that and be prepared not to be selfish because maybe thoughts have come back to her mind. Maybe a certain soap or cologne you have on has triggered something. And this is the thing. If we're not careful, we can trigger within the church like that with all of this that's going on. And don't shame nobody and think that somebody loves the Lord less than you because you're the one that has a more, you're, you're an extrovert. You're more, you know, out there. You're more energetic. You, you have, you know, you, you, you interact and mingle with everybody and, and you can hold your hands and break. All of that, that's fine. But don't shame the person that's next to you that's sitting there quiet. I remember one time I was preaching. One time, as a matter of fact, it might have been during my first sermon when I had to do it. And I was sitting there, and, uh, and there was this guy. He was just sitting there like this the whole time. No expressions, no nothing. But when the service was over, and they came and was shaking my hand, and he grabbed me, and he said in my ear, he said, brother, he said, that, low, that, that message touched me. Thank you. And I could smell alcohol on his breath. And I knew, because I was so young then, and I was like, wow. You know, you, you can't judge a book by its cover. And that's the problem. You can't judge people by the cover and thinking that they love the Lord less because they're not doing what you do. We all are different. That's what it's all about. But that's a trick, a trick within the community, within the Christian realm to have us all divided, all confused. And who's the author of confusion? Satan himself. Well, we're going to keep, we're, we're not going to allow the confusion to get in the way on this channel. We're going to continue to expose Satan and all his trickery. We're going to talk about the issues that some folks, they just don't want to talk about. They see a video like this. They shut it off because they don't want to hear it. We'll continue to talk about it. Stay tuned for some interesting videos that's going to come up this upcoming week. We're going to talk about one of the spiritual gifts that don't nobody want. Then we're going to talk about someone had requested about uh, what kind of books for. Uh, I'm going to show some share a few books within my library that just books for everyone that, you know, something I think that some uh, that would help all of us and some of you out there and that uh, you can put it in there and you know help continue to further your understanding on things and that's what we'll do so enjoy your day and until the next time we talk my friends take care god bless